Hello Pisces, welcome to Three Crows Runes. My name is Jen. Let's do some rune readings. Today we are doing readings for December 2023. I am using the Phantom Wise Tarot and the Elder Futhark on Amethyst Crystals. So let's get started with the card from the Phantom Wise Tarot. And we have the Devil. So that doesn't mean what you think it means. The Devil has to do with um, where you've put yourself in a position where you are acting not in your best interests and you have told yourself that you're trapped there. <clears throat> you are not trapped. You are never trapped. You feel like you're trapped because you've done this thing and you've put yourself in this position and you feel like you're trapped. But in like the Rider Waite version of this, you'll see that the people who are chained to the devil you, the chains are real loose. Like they could lift those right off and bolt. So there's no reason to feel that you are trapped. I, I mean, even in this picture, the door is big. He's not going to be able to block you getting out. So, <laughs> and there's light beyond that. So you may feel this month that you're in a situation where you're trapped um, and that you realize that you got yourself into against your own best interests. However, you're not trapped. So let's get some runes down. And I think this month is the month that you're going to realize that, which is really important. Because as soon as you realize it's like breaking a spell, and it's like, oh, you know, I could just walk out. I could just, I could just take this chain off. So your central issue this month is Kaunas reversed. Kaunas is the rune of the torch or the fire. It's something that starts small like an ember and goes into a blaze. Expansion, opening out. However, this Kaunas is reversed. So usually I read this as honing focus. Um, maybe what you're doing this month is turning your focus finally on this. Maybe you were sort of defocused on the situation and now you've realized this and you've turned your focus on it. You may also be in a situation this month where you're feeling um, a diminishment of options. Like it's like when I, <laughs> remember Pee Wee in the movie where he's rescuing all the animals in the pet store and he's leaving the snakes and then there's nothing else in the pet store but the snakes so he has to rescue the snakes. It's like that. Like <laughs> basically everything else You've, you've looked at everything else, you've, you've put this off as long as you can, and now you really have to focus on it, and that's what you're focusing on now. Leading up to the... <laughs> Leading up to this, we have Avaz. Avaz is the rune of the horse. The horse is movement and spirit. So you've really been galloping up to this point. You've just been on this gallop. Um, just run, 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 just rush, 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 push, push, push. Yeah, it's like moving really quickly. And it's sort of like, I get the sense based on this and this, that it's like, if I move fast enough, I won't be able to acknowledge that this is not a good thing that's happened that I've put myself into. So, but now you're focused on it. Okay. Good. What is going to help you? We have Lagos reversed. Lagos is the rune of hum of. Oh my gosh, I, I, I've read. I, I was looking at Manas. Um, Lagos is the rune of the water. It's the flow. It's emotion, intuition, and heart. What you're going to need to do is get in touch with your deep inner heart. Um, for one thing. For another thing, notice where your emotions are not pleasant, because that's you're going to focus on this. Like, you know what? That's my emotions are not pleasant. They're upheaval -y and they're upside down and things feel upside down. So one, get in touch with your deep inner heart. Two, notice where your emotions are not comfortable um, and where things are not flowing is the other way that I'm going to read this because this is water. It's the flow. So notice where things are not flowing um, and that's going to help you notice what's going on and really focus on remembering the situation. But mostly I'm saying get in touch with your deep inner heart. <laughs> Turn inward. Um, and maybe there's a certain, maybe there's something that's been flowing along um, that, how do I put this? <laughs> it's, it's like there's a certain emotion that once you realize it's not comfortable, you're going to get on top of that. You know, like maybe this has been something that's been overwhelming you. It's like, like, well, it's water. So it's like, it's over. Maybe it's like overwhelming you and slapping you in the face. And you're like, wait a minute, I'm going to get on top of this because this is not comfortable for me. 
And when you're doing that, just sort of reaching inside and looking inward and going, I'm going to get in touch with my deep inner heart on this because that's where the truth is going to lie. So that's good. Um, what isn't going to help you is we have manas. Manas is the root of humanity and your part in it. You're worried about your sense of belonging. You're worried about, you know, wh who am I if I'm not in this situation? Um, well, you're you, and when you tap into your inner heart, you're going to find that. You're going to be like, oh, I remember who I am, and then you're going to walk out the door that's behind this guy who he can't even block it. Um, so basically, the worry that might drag you down is basically maintaining things where they are, and you don't want to rock that, and you don't want to shake that because this has been a foundation for you. Um, it's a matter of, you know, it's, it's basically just a worry. It's a very positive rune in a negative spot. It's humanity and your part in it. So that's what you're worried about is your sense of belonging. But bring yourself back up to, you know, things aren't flowing. I don't feel comfortable. Um, I, I, I need to, you know, maybe my heart's not in what I'm doing anymore. And I need to find my heart again. And with this focus, just like find what I actually, who I am, I actually am and what I want to do. What this is going to lead you to by the end of the month is we have Fehu. Fehu is the run of wealth and worth. Um, it's cattle, so it's not necessarily money, but it's whatever it is that whenever you take care of it in your life makes your life rich. And that's what your focus is going to be honing towards this month. You're going to be like, okay, I, if I have this in my life and if I'm taking care of this in my life, then my life is going to feel rich and I don't need what I've feel I've trapped myself with here, which I haven't actually trapped myself with because I'm not trapped. And you're going to go towards this. You're going to go towards what gives your life richness and wealth and worth. So that, Pisces, is your reading for December 2023. I wish you all the best with this, and I wish you a lovely day or evening. Take care till next time. Bye!